Welcome shooters and collectors. Today we're going to be taking another look at the uh, Sig Sauer X5 and I want to do this quick video because I said a couple of things in my other video about the X5, X6 series and they were incorrect so I just wanted to clarify that and um, uh, so you don't have any misinformation about it. The first thing I, I, uh, I was talking about the compensator and there's these two screws here and uh, these in, these right here, there's uh, screw holes as well. And I thought that they had something to do with uh, screwing it down to the barrel, but that was incorrect. That's not it at all. I didn't know that until I really started to take a hard look at it. I'd never taken them out before. Um, but really the only one that holds the uh, comp on is this one right here. So, and what's kind of interesting is the comp is reverse threaded onto the barrel. So you just have to undo this one here and righty tighty lefty loosey doesn't apply this time. Uh, what, and I, I honestly, I don't know um, why they did this. I don't have the original instruction manual and I don't even know what the instruction manual would say why, but these holes here, uh, or these screws, you can uh, unscrew them and on the inside, they actually are part of the compensator. It's, it's really quite difficult to see, but you can, if you look deep within the comp, if you were able to look deep within the compensator, you can see the holes um, are there. Also, uh, these holes here, you can sort of see a little bit of light go through. And sure enough, um, at about the same position, um, gas can escape here as well. I don't know why they did this. You can sort of, I don't know if you can sort of, yeah, it's difficult to see, but you can sort of see a little bit of the, um, like powder or whatever would, uh, is on the finish there a little bit. I don't know why they did that. And I assume you, these are threaded as well. So yeah, you can feel the threads on them. Um, you could probably plug them up as well as they did with these. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I have no idea because you got three ports here and um, I don't know why they did that. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd point that out. Just sort of an unusual feature there. The other thing is, is the uh, compensator. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or the other day. The comp, the these are sort of slanted forward. Usually, you know, the comps are all straight up, but the, it, on this, they sort of sanded it forward, which is a little bit different as well. The second thing I... Uh, stated in my video the other day that was incorrect. I stated this this, this screw here was for pre-travel and this was for post-travel, that's incorrect. This is actually for the trigger weight, which is really convenient to uh, be able to just tune it in uh, there. Typically, uh, on a lot of firearms, you have to take the slide off, with, play with it a little bit, and then put the slide back on, but with the trigger weight here, you don't have to do that. You just use a two millimeter hex and stick it in and uh, twist it. This, the second one is actually the trigger stop. So it's not, um, it is it is actually the trigger stop. And then the third one for the pre, uh, the pre-travel is actually on the inside of the gun. And it is, see if I can bring that in for you there. It is right in there. There's a little itty bitty screw. Kind of hard to see. Anyway, it's there and you can uh, just uh, dial it in however you like and uh, I did that yesterday I played with it so I, I I got a lot of the play out and then right there you know it hits the wall and then it releases and then um, the trigger stop is right behind it so it, it's really dialed in there's very little trigger movement now um, another thing I'll, I'll show you real quick since I got this apart the you know, you think, oh, you know, I like to, I don't want to pay all the money for an X5, and, you know, are they really that different? And yes, they are. And um, one of the things is, of course, the trigger. It's got the pre-travel, the post-travel, and the trigger weight. And um, you kind of wonder what type of trigger does it have compared to, like, a regular 226 or, you know, a 220, and I'll show you that. Let me remove this here. And uh, here's the trigger system. You can see it. In there, and now you can see the uh, the pre-travel screw real easily. But the the, uh, the, um, the trigger weight screw actually goes up and presses against this piece right here, I believe, 
and uh, so it's it's far more complicated than you know your standard 226. And you, I know you know you can get nice springs and put them in, and it helps the 226 out, but it just will never compare to this. I'd be I guess it'd be like you know. Um, a Ferrari convert versus a, a Mustang or something like that. Both are great, but you know, one is just in the class by itself. So anyway, I thought I would uh, point these features out and uh, sorry I made the mistakes earlier and uh, I hope you uh, like taking a look at this and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, one other quick thing. Since I got the cop off, this is the front of the barrel. It doesn't have the, cr uh, the, the crowning on the front of it as the X5, X6 does. It's uh, because of the comp, because you know it's threaded. But uh, it does have, it is finally done though, right right around there. But anyway, I uh, thought that was a little bit interesting as well. And the comp, nothing touches the screws. A lot of times, you know, sometimes the uh, a screw will just dig right into the, the threading. But this comp actually, when it squeezes down, it squeezes on the barrel right there. You can sort of see where it's it's a little silver. So um, nothing will damage the threads or anything or affect the barrel. Anyway, thanks. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.